Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about Florida Boys Grooming. So I have a couple different products from them. I have two different scents and a beard oil, and I have the beard butter. So we're going to talk about the ingredients, the prices, all that good stuff. Do I recommend it? The fill and beard. But first, let's go ahead and get into that website. And I already have the main page up here, and we're going to go ahead and click on the shop here, which is going to bring us up all of his products. Now, he does have, uh, actually, before I mention, he, all his scents are inspired by uh, different clones out there. And uh, once we get further into here, you'll see what I mean. So his beard oils are, for one ounce, are $18. He has uh, soap for $7. Uh, the beard butter is $20 for a two ounce tin. Now, he does have some limited scents here. Uh, drunken pumpkin here for a beard oil. And that's, that's $34, but it is a combo. Uh, for the uh, uh, oil, butter, and the soap. Now he has a one ounce bottle of cologne for $25. And so another limited edition soap here, another limited edition oil, some hats, uh, shirts. Now here you have Tom Ford, Ralph Lauren, Christian D. Orr. And on the next page you have Giorgio Ar Armani. Uh, but for these here, if you notice that uh, those specific ones like the Giorgio Armani and the Christian Dior and Ralph Lauren, uh, the names are cut off. So my recommendation for that would be try to squish that up there uh, and be able to fit that whole name on there just to make it look, give it a little more pop, make it look a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the greenness real quick. And we're going to go click on this, this regular beard oil one. And I just want to show you the different scents uh, in, in this category. Now, actually, first of all, the, they have different bottle options as well, which I think, I think is pretty cool. Now, I know when I click on this drop down, y'all want to see, see it because of the program I'm using to capture my screen. But I'm going to click on each one here. The first one is Dropper Top Frost Frosted White Bottle. So that's pretty cool. Next, next one is going to be a Dropper Top with a Blue Bottle. And the third option you can get is a Silver Pump with a Matte Black Bottle. Uh, though the uh, two cents that I got were actually in the uh, drop top blue bottom. Then on drop down here, you can actually select different scents. And uh, I know they have another scent uh, here optional. Just, I think it may be just due to, to the fact that maybe, maybe this web hosting site wasn't allowed to put all the different scents in the, the one section there. So we had to make a second one. Uh, but down here, right below that, you can get... Take a look here real quick on the different scents in this category. You can, you know, I got one here by Amber Combrian Fitch, Arazzo, uh, Cool Water, Creed, Dolce Gabbana, Gucci, John Boy, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Versace, but several different uh, well-known fragrance scents there. So those are pretty cool. Pretty good list to, to pick from. And while we're here, let's talk about the ingredients. So the ingredients for the oil is a 50-50 emu blend. So that's emu, sunflower, rose hip, avocado, argan, sweet almond, vitamin E, fragrance, and the essential oils for the scent. All right, so let's go back to the shop here. Let's go to the uh, beard butter. And we're gonna get in the beard butter is two ounces for $20 and you do not get to pick a scent on this so that they all come in uh, the beard butter is just unscented there is no scented beard butter and the ingredients for the uh, beard butter are refined shea and cooking butter emu oil sunflower rose hip oil avocado oil argan oil hobo oil sweet almond oil and vitamin e all right let's take it back to the shop page now the two cents i got were from the Tom Ford inspired scent. So let's click on that one real quick. And of course, again, you get the same bottle options. And here is really quick is a list of the Tom Ford inspired scents. Now I have the ombre leather and the Tuscan leather. So actually when I saw that, uh, the leathers, so the, actually I just, actually I just did purchase one, uh, the, uh, one beard oil and a beard butter. And I can't remember what the heck when I, I think I purchased the Tuscan, Tuscan leather or the ombre, ombre leather, one of the two. And he actually sent me out the other one uh, to check out as well. Because I saw that leather and, 
you know, I like leather, so I just definitely had to try that. So there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about these balls here real quick. Let me actually show you what the balls look like up here in person. So here's one of them. That's the information the grease is on the back here. And here's the other one. So it looks exactly the same, right? So just looking at these, you wouldn't know which one is which unless you looked on the bottom. It's pretty cool. I have this one upside down. So it actually has the name here written on the bottom, but they are Isma is, I mean, the Tuscan leather I can read, but the ombre leather is definitely a little bit harder to read. So I definitely suggest putting it on the front here, right under the Florida Boys grooming name. Maybe add the name of the scent so it can be easily readily seen. Uh, but overall, if you notice on the webpage, the webpage is a uh, limited edition scent there, Drunken Pumpkin, I think it was, actually had the name on the bottle. So I think that was a really good call there. So, but overall, the rest of them may work on uh, putting the name of the scent on the bottle. And that's really the only recommendation I have about that. And actually, when it comes to the scents, uh, the Tuscan leather kind of reminded me of a, I mean, I do get a leather in there, but it kind of reminded me of a kind of a deserty type feel. Uh, pretty awesome. And the ombre leather, uh, definitely more of a uh, floral, floral type notes in there. Matter of fact, I actually looked up the Tom Ford website. And uh, let's go go to that those websites real quick. So here is for the ombre leather. Now the ombre leather. Let's go ahead and read this real quick. The ombre leather fragrances merges floral leather and spices, conjuring the still air, open spaces, and layered landscapes of the American Southwest. So it's pretty cool. And about the fragrances, dust on wind. Skin on skin, the ombre leather fragrance evokes a desert heart of the West. The sensuality of rich black leathers is texturized with a chili and vetiver, while floral uh, notes of jasmine uh, conjure a wild uh, desert beauty, and layers of amber and uh, moss mimic the heat of rock and sand. So, there is kind of the description of what they uh, say, Tom, Tom Ford himself's website of ombre leather and actually i do get that resemblance so definitely right on so i actually never smelled the actual tom ford ombre leather before but based on that that description i definitely would agree with that so let's actually go to the tuscan leather one and for the uh they actually have different style of descriptions here so let's go ahead and highlight all this and for the description it says uh supple primal Extravagant. Fragrance family is warm and spicy. Scent type is woody, spicy. Keynotes leather, saffron, black suede. Fragrance description Tuscan leather merges primal leather with uh, night blooming jasmine and black suede for distinctive spin. Perfume that is raw yet refined, sensual yet sophisticated. Then about the fragrance says Tuscan leather is a primal creation inspired by Tom Ford's love of fine leather. So that's pretty cool. So I definitely get that as well. So those are the descriptions from uh, the Tom Ford website itself on what those uh, scents uh, smell like. Once again, I haven't actually smelled either of these from Tom Ford, but I do really, really enjoy these scents. So definitely pretty awesome job. So I don't, however he does this, did a good job. So pretty awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the fill and beard real quick. When it comes to the oil, definitely did an awesome job with keeping my skin nice and nourished. Never had a problem with the itchiness or fear drift or anything like that. When it came to the beard hair itself, definitely did an awesome job as well. Kept my beard nice and soft all day. So it's really, really, truly enjoyed that. And when it comes to the beard butter, definitely did a good job there as well. So actually, I, was, I actually want to show you the consistency of this butter because it is a more thicker type butter. So if you notice... Um, that's to take a little bit of pressure to get the out. I mean, not too much pressure, but it is more of a thicker butter, which I actually really enjoyed because of what it did in my beard. It kept my beard nice and soft all day, like I said, but when I'm using a more of a gentle type wash after I come home, because I pretty much wash my beard every day just to do to what I do at work. 
you know, I washed my beard, you know, dried off, and I wouldn't put any more uh, beard butter in it because you know, when I wake up in the morning, it still felt nice and soft just because the thickness of the butter stays on there longer. So that's really, really enjoyed that effect. So just really awesome. Really would, I definitely would make a purchase of this again. So if you want to check him out, I will have a link to his website in the description below for y'all to go check it out. I definitely would recommend checking him out. So it's definitely if you're a clone, you're a clone diet guy, this is definitely a guy to check out. So check him out. He has a bunch of different uh, inspired type clones. And as you can see, the list of those different ones that are definitely there's going to be something that you're going, you're going to like. So once again, check him out. Description, the, the link to his website in the description below. And remember, keep your beards and stashes healthy. Until next video.